Quick recap. We go to a URL. It's like we're knocking on someone's door requesting something. The server, or Django, returns a response to us. That is the process. That always happens with correctly configured Django projects. Now, when this happens, Django recognizes what URL is being requested or you know that web address is being requested. It breaks it apart, figures out what function is going to respond to it, right? And with that function, we want to respond with some sort of HTTP response. The, the basic default one is this, just HTTP response, and we can pass in whether it's HTML itself or just a string. It doesn't matter. We can return HTTP response, and we can even return it being nothing. Like, it could be absolutely empty in here, and it would still work. So this is still a valid page. Um, but what we want to do is, instead of writing in strings here, we want to use some built-in shortcuts that Django has. And you may have noticed that shortcuts.importRender was in there by default. So when you create a new app, that's in there, okay? So I wanna actually be able to use this itself. So instead of returning HTTP response, what I wanna do is return render, and it's gonna take in a few arguments. One is request, the request argument that's being passed. Uh, one is gonna be a template name, let's say for instance, home.html. And then the last one is context, or for now, we'll just do an empty dictionary. We will talk about context later. So that's how you would be able to return some sort of HTML template or HTML document. Either way. So how do I actually find... <clears throat> how do I actually find this? Like, where is that located? If I save this and refresh in here, I get this error. Template does not exist. Well, it certainly doesn't. We haven't actually created it, right? And it's looking for it throughout our site, but it doesn't actually know where to go. So we need to create a location for it. And that's what we'll do now. Inside of our SRC folder in the root of the Django project, we're gonna make a new folder in here called templates. This folder is gonna hold all of our templates as we see fit. So inside of there, we're gonna go ahead and do home.html, making that new file. Notice templates is online with pages, products, and the Django configuration folder, as well as manage.py. So I'm gonna put home.html in there, and I'm just gonna say h1, hello world, close off h1, and then do a p tag. This is a template. Close off that p tag. Okay, so we save that. Seems like things are looking good. We made a templates folder, home.html's in there. We wanna render it out, save it. Let's go back, Re rerun it. Hmm, template does not exist still. Well, this is because we haven't actually set up Django to know where these templates are. I mean, I did name it templates, but that's an arbitrary name. That directory is an arbitrary name. It is a best practice name, but it is still, I just made it up. Okay, so in settings.py then, remember how I said we were gonna come back to templates? If you watched that video, that's this. So we wanna actually put in side of our DIRs or our directories where this directory location is. Now, I could hard code it to um, your path to templates. And let's do that. So let's go ahead and say PWD. Here is my normal project here, right? So that's to the root of the Django project. All I need to do is add templates here, as in the name of that folder. I hit save and refresh in here. What do you know? Our templates are looking good. They're actually in there. But if I sent this to you on your computer, it's not gonna work unless your user is CFE. So what we need to do is pretty much copy what we did here. That's actually fairly straightforward, but with some minor exceptions. Basically, I wanna make it OS independent. I wanna make it allow it for me to send this code to you and it'd still work. So it's be OS path.join baster and then templates. So I'm just joining that base directory where manage.py is with the templates directory that I just created. I refresh in there, it's still working. That template's still showing up. Um, so what this allows me to do then is to make multiple pages like about.html, uh, contact.html, and so on. 
And then I can just quite literally bring in all this code here and say contact and about. And then in my view, just like I did on home view, I could just re change these about and contact to content uh, to the correct name. So about.html and contact.html. I save that, refresh, everything's looking okay. I go to about, hey, looking cool. So it's rendering HTML. Notice that it doesn't have dot HTML here, right? So it's, it's not actually like rendering out that raw HTML file. It's, it's actually going through Django and Django's rendering out that HTML. Um, that's pretty cool. So if you've worked in web design before, you'll know that that .html being gone makes these URLs so much cleaner. And it's, it's a lot easier to navigate and share. And it also makes it look more advanced, in my opinion. Okay, so now we have a way to render out HTML documents. But you might see that there is a lot of repetitiveness that could happen in these documents. So we need to talk about some basic inheritance stuff with Django templates. And that's something we'll do in the next one. So make sure you subscribe to get everything. Joincfe.com slash YouTube. My name is Justin. I'm really looking forward to seeing you again next time.